Welcome to a Microsoft Small Basic tutorial, How to Make Shapes Follow the Mouse Until It Is Clicked, by Jack Johnson Software. So, go ahead and open up Microsoft Small Basic, and the first command we're going to type is to execute the button click subroutine when any button is clicked. So, controls.buttonclick equals but clicked. That's what we're going to name our subroutine. Ah, next up, we're going to add another button. We're going to call that our add button, and that equals controls.add button the caption of uh, add circle and we just set the x and y to 10. Right, the next command we need to do is to uh, make this subroutine for the button. So sub button clicked as we named it before and we need to do last button equals controls not graphics no, sorry controls there equals controls dot last click button. So if the last button equals the add button, that's what we named our button before, then what we need to do is start our moving. So we need to first add our new shape. So we're going to do circle equals shapes dot add ellipse, eclipse, ellipse, I think it's ellipse, isn't it? We'll set both of those to 100, that'll make it a nice round circle. So graphics window dot mouse down equal sorry mouse move equals move shape and graphics window dot mouse down equals fix shape. So when the mouse is moved, it'll go they move shape subroutine, and when it's clicked, it'll fix the shape. So we need to do is active on another variable equals true. End if end sub. We're going to use active as a boolean variable. So sub move shape as we named it before. And what we need to do there is shape, so sorry, if active equals true, so we're checking that something does need to be moved, then what we need to do is shapes dot move, we need to move our circle, so we'll put that first, then we need to do the graphics window dot mouse x, instead of using the mouse command because it's not relative to where the window is, so we need to use graphics window dot mouse x. And then we need to do graphics window dot mouse y is our last variables. The thing is we need to do is we need to minus 50 because that is the radius of the circle we've just added. Otherwise, the circle will be at the top corner, not in the middle of the mouse. So now what we need to do is end if and end sub. The final subroutine we need to add is sub fix shape. So this is the subroutine for when the mouse is clicked. So what we need to do is end sub. And what we need to do is just set active to false. So this means when the mouse is clicked, active becomes false, so they will no longer move the shape. As we go run ahead and run this, we'll find my little typing error here with circle. Should have an extra C there. Um, as we go ahead and run that, you'll see if we click two windows, sorry. As we click add circle, you'll see what we get is a circle following the mouse round. If you click, it'll stop. Thanks for watching guys, this has been a Microsoft Small Basic tutorial for Jack Joints and Software.